So how you doing my fellow DJs? This is DJ730. I'm back again. I am back with some info on Record Box. So um, let me just bring it up. This is going to be a short little info for your people who use Record Box. Okay. Um, Deadlings are uh, missing files. As you can see right here, these files are missing. Well, actually, since I use iTunes to uh, prepare my music, um, sometimes I'll change the name or fix something that is wrong with it, and then it'll be imported back into um, a record box. But I'll have two versions, the old one and the one that was fixed. So then it'll, it'll mark the old one as a, a dead link or a missing file. Now, <clears throat> what happens is, if you fix a lot of stuff, like if I fix a lot of stuff in iTunes, then they'll be imported back into Rekordbox, and it'll be analyzed like it was a new song, and then um, I'll have a mix like of dead links, but I, would, I wouldn't know until I click on it and try to play it, and then it'll tell me that it, that it couldn't find it, it's an error. So I'm not gonna go through every song. So there is a way to um, execute this fast. So this is how you do it. You go to File, right? You go to Display All Missing Files. So this is how you find all your dead links or um, files that you might relocate. So you have the option of relocate or delete. I delete it because it's gonna be re-imported. I have all my music on one folder. So that's what it brings back into Rekordbox or I bring it back into record box so once I delete this the music is still there so I just hit delete I'll OK it and wham so I just gotta wait a moment and I OK it you know I was trying to figure this out because I didn't know myself if I had to do it manually one by one uh, which is like forever if you really fixing your music you know if you're in a stage where you have a lot of songs that you're gonna delete and get rid of and you're doing it like I'm doing it I'm not getting rid of songs through um, record box I go to iTunes and do that so um, it'll take me forever so this way I just go to file, display missing files, and it will check for me. So you see, missing file manager, all files exist. Okay. So that means I don't have no missing files, no dead links. So I'm good to go. <clears throat> so for uh, any DJs out there that are trying to figure out how they're going to do this in record box, this is the way you do it. Easy, simple, perfect you know no problems I'm still waiting only for um, I think they haven't fixed it so these are my playlists in iTunes so if I click on a playlist or a folder it doesn't show me all the context that is inside that folder so I have to go into the playlist itself so I can view everything that is there um, that's the only thing I really don't like well, I guess at one moment or another they're gonna fix this, but beyond that everything is cool. You know, I ain't got no problems. And um, I'll give you a quick review once I get my equipment. I'm almost getting it. My um, my new mixer for Record Box. Um, so once I get it, I'll post it. I'll do a video on it. Um, and I'll have the key for the software so it'll unlock everything and then I'll just put some details of stuff that I discover and learn so hopefully this will help someone who just started out using record box and they could know how to remove those dead links you know that's always a headache when you're trying to fix uh, your playlist and organizing everything like I am and you know all right so I'll speak to you later Give a like if you like and subscribe if you want. <laughs>
DJ730 signing out. Peace.